There has really been a surge in vacation home sales that tells us a lot about the winners and losers in Obama's economy. It's a real surge. Here's my take. Uh, first, the numbers. Last year, 717,000 vacation homes were sold, and that is up a whopping 30% over the year before. Economists believe it's the result of the 30% gain for the stock market. They say it is the wealth effect. You're making money in stocks, you spend it on a beach house. And by the way, much of the income gain last year went to the upper half of income earners. Conclusion? The money's out there, and it's the top half that's making it. All right, now look at the other half. It's astonishing to report that after five years of Obama's policies, it is the poorer half that is losing ground. Middle class buying power is down. More than half the new jobs pay less than $14 an hour. And there are fewer people working today than back in 2007. This half doing well buying beach houses, this half, half being ground down. Conclusion? The president's spread the wealth policies are not working. Here's another conclusion. It will be even worse in the future as long as his policies stay in place. That's my opinion. It always comes back to the same thing. Socialism or collectivism does not work. If you don't believe me, look at Europe. That is President Obama's vision of the future. He wants to make us like them. He thinks Europe is fair, that a cradle-to-grave welfare system is okay because the rich will pay for it. He's wrong. Socially and economically, he's wrong. But so far, he's been right politically. He's pulled in enough voters to win the presidency twice. Those voters were convinced that President Obama would lead the country to a fair and caring future. It's really come down to two Americas. You can have a boom in beach houses coupled with a shrinking middle class and call it a united country. The extraordinary thing is that this president is making it worse. This is a failed and failing presidency.